Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth and today I've got a little shop along with me in Costco as well as a haul. So I hope you will enjoy seeing the things that I videoed while in the store. I did try to focus on showing things that are on sale right now or also things that are seasonal. It is summertime and so Costco always has some really fun summer seasonal items. First thing we did when we got to the store today was stop into the food court for a bite of lunch. It's never smart to shop while you're hungry and all four of us were hungry. Olivia was at work today and so it was just the four of us. Anyway, I'm not going to talk a whole lot through the store, but I just wanted to pop in and explain the video and I hope you enjoy what you see. Also, I did want to note that it was rather crowded in Costco the day we were there. So, you know, I, I always try to be very careful not to actually video people and their faces, you know, to include that in the video. But also I wanted to encourage you to pause the video if you want to look at a price and maybe I go a little bit too fast over certain items. So anyway, feel free to pause and take your time. Enjoy the video. $19.99 for this 18 piece snapwear set is a really really good deal we have this set at our house we have two of them actually and we use them constantly I love the look of these snack containers I love how they're so colorful and so happy and festive I think the kids would really enjoy having those and I love the huge display of the summer things at Costco. I like how Sam's does that too. They hang the large items from the ceiling. It's just easier to get a better look at how they, how they look. You know, some of those items are huge. Look at this pool for $5.99.99. This was the first time I had noticed the mini raspberry cakes in Costco. They look really, really good. And I had seen these lemon blueberry loaves before. They always look so good too. But I tell you, every time I see them and I'm tempted to buy them, I always think, oh my gosh, I could make this myself probably for a lot healthier. Also, I wanted to show you these fish because Robbie loves looking at these fish. Every time we go into Costco, he's like, I wonder if they'll have the fish. And he has to go look at them every time so funny. Um, this next section in Costco, I wanted to point out and show you some of their take and make meals. The chicken alfredo, these stuffed peppers, those are both really good items. Now I have never tried this gyro kit before. It looks really good. I enjoy a good gyro. And the, some of these salads, um, I have not tried all of them, but the few that I have tried, they're always so delicious. I thought this sandwich and salad looked so good. Maybe one day I'll pick one up. I've never had it before, but I thought that looked really, really good. Now we have bought this macaroni and cheese before and it's pretty good. It does need a little bit of extra seasoning, maybe some salt and pepper. It's not homemade, but it's, it's pretty good and it's so easy. You just pop it in the oven and bake it up. 
So anyway, like I said, Costco has so many good meal items and then some that you can just take and they're ready to eat. This salmon with the basil butter is so good. The basil pesto. Um, the first time Robbie saw it in the case, he thought that the little dollops of the butter were, was ice cream. And he was like, fish and ice cream? That is gross. <laughs> oh my gosh, I laughed so hard because that would be gross. But um, it's actually pretty darn delicious. Something else that we really enjoy picking up whenever I really just don't feel like cooking, but I want something good is their meatloaf and mashed potatoes. It's down here at the end, and I highly recommend if you just want some good comfort food, you know, it's going to feed your family. It's so, there it is. It's so good. Meatloaf with mashed potatoes. I had never noticed this late July snacks brand in Costco or really in any other grocery store. Who knows about it? Is it good? Have you tried other products from them? Once I noticed this in Costco on this day, I think the next day I had to go into our local grocery store just for a few items I could not get at Costco. And I noticed that the late July snacks had several products available on the shelves. So anyway, I just wondered what else have you tried from them? Are they good? What do you like? Here is the hammock chair that we just picked up. We got two of them when we went camping. Um, I can link that video down below from our camping trip. Anyway, I highly recommend. It's such a great chair. Good? Books. Yes. Oh, you can keep your book? I guess so. Or your tablet and a little coffee or a soda. Nice. For only $39.99. This director's chair could be yours. It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom for twelve ninety nine. It could be yours. This squishmallow could be yours. But also look at these adorable. Let's see, forty seven ninety nine. You could get this adorable Disney's Up House Lego set. Let's see the front. Oh, here's the picture of the front. Look at how cute. Look at the balloons. Cute. For $249.99, you get this Camp Chef Tundra DLX3 burner stove. That is quite a long name. Looks cool. This is a giant splash pad. I am not seeing the price for it anywhere, but we had one like this a couple years ago and it is so cool. My kids really enjoyed it so much. Costco has all of these summer fun accessories, floats, goggles, snorkel set. Look at this float you can pull behind the boat on the lake. So cool. This water table.
Here is an overview of our Costco trip from today. We needed a couple of more storage containers and these black and yellow totes from Costco are our favorites. I believe Sam's Club carries these as well, but we went ahead and picked up two of those. We also got this Igloo cooler. It'll keep your food cold for up to five days. And it's a really good size. It's got this little top compartment that opens in the middle. It's got four places on top for drink holder for drinks. Then you lift the lid. It's got lots of space inside. It's got a handle on the ends you can pull and it has wheels on the back. And let's see. It's a 90 quart, 137 cans, wow, and 85 liters. So anyway, pretty good deal. We discovered on our camping trip we just came home from that we could use a newer cooler. The one we have is fine, but we really wanted one that has wheels. So, all right, then moving over here, we got some windshield wipers for our daughter's car. Our daughter Olivia needed some for her Mini Cooper. And then we got these little mini, mini peppers. These are really good just to have for snacks or to use in recipes. I got these bananas. They're gonna be sitting around for a while. I'm gonna make banana muffins. I've got, I, don't, I may have posted the recipe already by the time I post this video, I'm not sure. But man, I make a really good banana bread or banana muffin and so we wanted to make more. This time I wanna make them with blueberries in them too. So that'll be coming up soon here. We got um, cherry, little, gra we got grape tomatoes and we restocked on some paper plates. We like to have those. We, we don't use them very often, but we like to have them for when we want to use them. Brandon needed some batteries. And then we got some cucumbers. These are really good for snacks as well as to add on to our salad. We got these little potatoes. These are so good. I love to keep these in the, in the pantry for recipes, usually in the crock pot, but I like to roast them in the oven too. We needed fresh lettuce for salads. So these are hearts of romaine. It's my favorite kind of lettuce to buy. And then we went ahead and got some ground beef. I got, this is a three pack and we got two of them. We needed some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. It's a pretty good amount of them. And then we needed some bacon. And then it is summertime y'all and I'm ready for some easy dinners frozen pizza for the win on some nights. So we went ahead and got those. The Kirkland brands are, the Kirkland brand pizza is pretty good and it's just easy dinner. They had this Pete's coffee on sale. So I went ahead and got two. This is our current favorite coffee to have. So I was really glad it was on sale and we used the coffee bean grinder in the front of the store to um, grind the beans before we left. We got one block of cheddar cheese, a large container of sour cream. And I haven't, we haven't bought these in such a long time. We used to buy these all the time. It's the Wild Roots Coastal Berry Trail Mix Blend. This is so good. These little, um, it's got almonds, cashews, cranberries, yogurt chips, and blueberries. And it's just the right amount of like tart and sweet and crunchy. So good. We really, really enjoy this snack. We got eggs and then we got some sliced cheese and this sliced cheese comes, it's a variety pack. It's got Swiss, Colby Jack, Cheddar and Monterey Jack. So y'all know if you watch the channel, we do a lot of hamburgers and we do sandwiches. And like I said, I'm ready for some easy meals. It's summertime. So looking forward to some easy summertime sandwiches. Picked up this ham deli meat. And the Cetaphil was on sale, and this is what we all use. My husband, myself, our older daughter, and Serena, she also uses this too. So we like to buy them when they're on sale, keep one in every shower. Works out really well. Coming over here, we've got, I picked up this Lucky Brand t-shirt. 
and I have one in this style already. It's red with flowers on it, and I really like the way that it fits. It's nice and comfortable. The sleeves are kind of fluttery, and it's just a really cute top. So I like this color way in the blue and white, so I'm happy about that. We've never bought these before, the Miss Vicky Spicy Dill Pickle Chips. Brandon got one to take to work, and we got one for here at the house. So we're looking forward to trying these. Well, maybe not Serena. She does not really like pickles, but the rest of us are looking forward to that. And then I had not seen these before. This is The brand is Late July Snacks. The Nacho Cheese Tortilla Chips. They reminded me of Doritos, and the ingredient list is a little bit better, so we are giving them a try. So I'll have to let you know how those are. Uh, like I said, we've never had them before. Looking forward to trying them. I picked up a giant bag of russet potatoes. I want to do some baked potatoes. And then I got this large bag of organic carrots. We got some hamburger buns, frozen sweet potato fries. We really enjoy these a lot. And then we got chicken nuggets, the lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. Um, the brand is Just Bear, and they taste very similar to Chick-fil-A nuggets. The kids enjoy them, so we like to keep those in the freezer. And then Brandon picked these up for work. He's going to take them to make chicken sandwiches with. the. It's the same brand, Just Bear, lightly breaded chicken breast, original filet. So he'll have to let us know how that goes. And then we also got one box of chicken and cheese taquitos. This is one of our kids' favorite easy go-to lunches. So, a couple of items that we took right to the garage. We did not even bring them inside. We needed kitchen bags, trash bags, and those are our favorite to buy from Costco. And we also got the Kirkland brand sparkling water. I bought these at the liquor store that is right next to our Costco. And we've never had them before, but they are the Taste of Finland, the Finnish Long Drink. This one is the strong citrus flavor. This one is the traditional citrus flavor. This one is the cranberry. It's a cranberry soda. Anyway, I'm looking forward to giving them a try. So I'll let you know how that goes. Costco was actually really crowded today. There were a lot of kids, which means school is out for the summer because when we were there, it was a Friday, kind of midday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the haul and seeing some of the things that we saw in the store today. Thank you for adding a dash of gratitude to your day, and we'll see you on the next video. After I finished filming the haul video, Robbie, Serena, and Olivia and I went down to our neighborhood pool. Well, it's actually our community pool, and enjoyed the end of the day poolside. It was lovely. The weather was perfect. It was hot, but breezy and so relaxing, the sun was setting, and that's when we like to go to the pool is towards the end of the day where we don't have to put on sunscreen if we don't want to. You know, it's less risk of sun and skin damage. But we enjoyed our evening down there, and now we're back home, and I wanted to crack open one of these drinks, and I thought I would do that with you. This is the Finnish Long Drink Legend of 1952, and this is the traditional citrus. It's a gin with natural grapefruit and juniper berry flavor and carbonation. So um, the reason that this drink stood out to me is my grandfather was from Finland. And so I have Finnish in my genes. I don't know if you can hear what's going on in the background, but Serena is singing in the shower. Anyway, whenever I see a drink that hails from my genetic background somewhere, I just think that's so cool and I want to buy it and drink it and taste it and just see what it's like. So anyway, let's get to tasting. It smells like grapefruit, which that's what it says the flavor is. Grapefruit and juniper berry. Yeah. All right, we'll see. nice. It's kind of light. It is citrusy. It's not heavy on the grapefruit. It actually smells stronger than it tastes as far as grapefruit goes. And the juniper berry even. This smells like I wouldn't like it, but it tastes really good. Let's give it another. Oh, 
I like it. Cheers. This is written along the side of this can. It says, The Legend. Long drink is a top selling category of alcohol in Finland, now available in America. The roots of long drinks go all the way back to 1952 summer games in Finland when the country of only 4 million people was still recovering from the Second World War. Concerned with how to serve drinks quickly enough to all the visitors, the government commissioned the creation of a revolutionary new liquor drink and so the first long drinks were born. Now this legendary taste has finally been brought to America by the next generation of Finns who want the world to experience the refreshing and unique Finnish long drink. And you can learn more at thelongdrink.com. I thought this was just interesting. And I had never seen this beverage before and maybe you would want to try it too. So if you do, let me know what you think of it. Um, like I said, it's kind of light, tastes like summer. It reminds me of another drink. Vinny's walking around over there. <laughs> um, this reminds me of another drink and I want to say it was the Summer Shandy of Linden Poogle. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Brandon and I have enjoyed several of those in the past. Um, they're very refreshing as well. Light, kind of a summery. So this reminds me of that a little bit. So anyway, give it a try. See what you think. Let me know.